So with my strawberry plants, I like to plant onion around the base. Um, and I also have my strawberries underneath of my fruit tree. So essentially I did this to provide extra ground coverage. Um, yeah, it helps keep the ground shaded, which actually helps uh, retain more moisture under here for the fruit tree. It's just a really good way to companion plant. And the smell of the onions that I planted, that helps eliminate pests as well. So with all my strawberries, I plant them with onions as companion plants, and then I typically have a beer trap for slugs. So this helps eliminate pests, and then this doesn't repel slugs, so that's why we do the beer traps. Um, those are really good. They've been rained in a little bit. I gotta go get some more beer for them, but they definitely catch a lot of slugs like that. You also can do a salt and vinegar spray mix and then just spray that directly on the slugs as you see them. I'm just gonna hand pull that little clover that I saw is coming up. Try to just keep all the runners in the container if possible. So I just harvested a lot of tomatoes off of this one yesterday. But today we're gonna get one. I don't think there's anyone up here for me today. It's okay. Oh Thank you. So, just one bean today, so that's okay. This one is having a hard time. I just transplanted it into this bigger, upcycled water jug. Let's see if I can get it off. There we go. That'll be good in a salad. Hmm. So we just harvested some bamboo. Um, I'll come over and show you what we did with that. Also just transplanted my beets into this tire. So I'm excited to see how this grows. I had them growing in cups, um, but they're already doing pretty good. I just transplanted them two days ago. So, and then I filled in with more seeds. So I'll update you guys as this grows. I'll be coming back out here to harvest this a little bit later, maybe tomorrow, um, but a lot of these are starting to die back now, so I think it's time. The other day I did the one plant that was over here, and these two still look like they're growing, um, but these definitely look like they're about done, so I'll be harvesting this pretty soon. So this garlic is barely hanging in there. I didn't show you guys, but I pulled the rest of my garlic a couple weeks ago. 
my left of this one to go ahead and go to flower. So we will see. I'm going to let it do its thing for a little bit longer before I pull it. Um, these are onions. These are not done yet. They'll fall over the same way that these potatoes will as well. So we just started this, but we cut the bamboo and then I strung the tomatoes. So that way they can grow up it and have just a little bit more support. Um, this is my first time trying this, so I'll let you know how it goes. But none of the tomatoes back here right now are ready yet. So I just harvested a couple off of this one yesterday. Come over here to check on the watermelon baby. Monitor. This rind is definitely starting to harden. It has that yellow spot if you can see it. But the stem, the stem is still green. Um, so it's still growing. We'll just leave it to grow for a little bit longer before we harvest that one. As for this one. The rind is still just a little bit squishy, um, so I already know it's not done, but we'll just check on it. Oh, we got another little watermelon growing. It has a small yellow spot, and the stem, you can see, is still green. So this stem right here will start to turn brown and dry up when the watermelon is finished. Also, I just want to show this because I love upcycling things. Upcycled this tire. These are watermelons growing out of it. And I had an old cornhole board that was starting to decay, like the actual panel on it. So I took the panel off and I used some chicken wire for my watermelon to grow up. And I think it's doing pretty good. Also, what I didn't realize or think about when I first did this was how hot this gets and the fact that this goes over it and is touching. So that's why you see some of these leaves had started to get fried. Um, but a couple days ago, I came out and I put the cardboard underneath of it so it would have something cool to lay on. And it's doing much better. Like a lot of these leaves were starting to fry and now we have new growth happening. So I'm pretty happy with it. So this over here, these are sugar baby watermelons, so those are going to be a little bit smaller of the watermelon. These three, no four, so one, two, and then there's three, four. Got a couple little watermelons growing on these, but these are Congo watermelons. So they should be getting really big. I'm really excited about these. This is my first year growing Congo watermelons. They're supposed to be around 40 to 50 pounds. So I'll definitely update as those grow. These, we got the seeds out of a watermelon that we bought at the store. Um, so I'm not exactly sure the type, but I know it was a watermelon from Florida, but I'm excited to see what this watermelon looks like. As for the leaf shape, it looks a little bit closer to the Congo watermelon, which I know it's not the Congo, but I know it's gonna get bigger than the sugar baby. And then this one is cantaloupe. So we just threw these seeds down not too long ago. So this also will be my first year growing cantaloupe. Um, yeah, so we'll see how these grow. It's quite a few little plants. So I'm going to try to spread them out as they grow, but yeah, we'll see what happens with these. Just found a squash bug. Another squash bug, I should say, because that's what took out my other two. Freaking squash bug. I don't know if 
it's too late for the plant or not. I don't know. I hope not. Unfortunately, this one had two zucchinis starting to grow. I really hope that it's going to survive because we just removed the squash bug, but I'm not sure. Okay, so since this one is kind of like messed up, I'm gonna just go ahead and take this male flower off. He's like wilted looking, um, but I'm gonna try to open it up and see if he has some pollen in him because and these ones already started like closing up too i'm gonna go get a q-tip though real quick but i'm gonna try and see if i can pollinate this one because i need male pollination to happen with these zucchinis so that way they don't die and that way they will grow so i'll be right back okay so i got the q-tip i got the flower um, basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to open it, uh, looks like ants are already getting to it, so I hope there's still pollen in here, um, let me see, I don't think I can do this with one hand, so just give me a sec. Okay, so I've just opened it, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like there's some pollen in there, um, so I'm just going to try to get that pollen on my Q-tip now. Basically, you just want to take the Q-tip and gently, most of the pollen looks like it's fallen down here. So that's why I'm coming down here first. It's a very little bit. Let me see if I can... I usually do this really gentle, but I'm kind of pushing a little bit hard because this flower is already done. So I got the pollen up here successfully, now I'm going to try to open up the female flower and see if I can pollinate her. So I'm going to try to open up this flower just a little bit without hopefully disturbing the plant too much. So how I know this is the female flower, one it has the zucchini, but two, if you look, if you look in the flower, That kind of shape in there signifies that it's the female. So essentially you just want to stick the Q-tip in and just try to give it just a little bit of pollen. Try to just spread it around in all the little areas. And then we come up. And then I'm going to try to do that with each of these. And hopefully they will grow. So this is how they look now. So with determining a male flower, you want to look at the base. So you see how this is not growing zucchini here? And with these, with these it has a very obvious zucchini starting to grow with a flower on the end. And this one, when you look at it, It just has, I guess you could say, like one piece sticking out where the female will have like multiple, like more ridge like structure. But this is your male flower. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more pollen from this one just to give the females the best chance possible. Try to show this better if you can see the inside of the female flower. It has that ridge like structure. It has multiple, multiple folds, multiple. So I've pollinated all of 
the zucchini that I saw. Since the flower already died on this one, and it's small like this, I know it didn't get pollinated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it. You can eat the zucchini when they're this small. So I'm gonna just go ahead and harvest it. So we have a baby zucchini. I wasn't going to, but I'm actually gonna pull this tomato. It's already having some bug issues. So I'm gonna pull it before they fully get to them. This is a Cherokee tomato, so they get soft very quickly. Like this very little red spot, fish spot, is already starting to get soft. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pull it off. actually one of my favorite varieties of tomato but it's also one of the bugs favorite as well and then this is another tomato that I have over here I think this is a queen I don't remember exactly the name of it it was a queen variety um, but this one's just starting to flower so I'm excited about that. Tomatoes are one of my favorite things to grow. I love tomatoes and I cook with them very often. So I'm hoping to get a very plentiful harvest this year. The leaf shape on this one though is pretty fun to me. It looks different from all my other tomatoes. All right, and this is a Hungarian wax pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest the big one of these. This will be my wow. first harvest. <laughs> this will be my first harvest from this one this year. So these are our muscadines that are starting to grow. We had some baby grapes growing. Um, unfortunately, they didn't make it, but I'm excited for the fruit that we will be able to harvest next year and maybe the year after that. And this is our little trellis that we started to make for it. So this was my harvest for today. I actually got a lot of strawberries today, so I'm very excited and thankful. <laughs> <laughs> 